Hello, my name is Martín and I'm going to be working with you today. Mi nombre es Martín y los voy a estar acompañando una vez más en la clase del día de hoy. So, let's start. Today's class is class number 14. La clase del día de hoy es la clase número 14. Ya estamos a un pasito del examen bimestral. And today we are going to work with the handout working with videos. Y vamos a estar trabajando con el handout que se llama working with videos. This handout. Y como ya habrán visto, vamos a estar trabajando con la peli Zootopia. Que seguro muchos de ustedes la conocen y seguro muchos de ustedes ya la habrán visto a esta peli. Y ahora les voy a contar cómo vamos a hacer para trabajar con la peli. Porque yo no se las voy a mostrar por acá, por la clase. Van a ser ustedes quien busquen el pedacito de video con el que vamos a trabajar en el aula virtual. Ahora les muestro cómo. Primero leamos el ejercicio A y después les indico cómo tienen que hacer. So, exercise A. It says, watch the trailer. Es decir, vamos a ver los avances de la peli. Read the following sentences and say yes or no. So, we have to read these sentences and decide if they're true or false. Entonces, el primer ejercicio es un ejercicio de verdad y falso que ustedes ya a esta altura ya saben cómo hacerlo. And look, here we have the characters of the movie. Tenemos acá los personajes de la película con sus nombres. Entonces, como les indiqué antes, ¿cómo vamos a hacer para ver el trailer? Van a ir al aula virtual y donde dice Video Zootopia... Van a hacer clic acá y les va a aparecer, se les va a abrir una ventana nueva y les va a aparecer el videito con el trailer. Ponen play y ven todo el video, que dura aproximadamente 3 minutos, 3 minutos con 9 segundos. Entonces, esto lo van a hacer ustedes ahora, van a entrar a la aula virtual y van a ver el videito. Les voy a pedir que lo vean dos veces al video. Así que les va a llevar más o menos unos 6 minutos, 6 minutos con un par de segundos, ¿sí? Así que los dejo ahora por estos minutos. Recuerden que su profe sigue en el chat. Pero así ustedes van a la aula virtual y miran este videito dos veces.
Ok, here we are again. Espero que hayan podido ver el videito sin inconvenientes. Entonces arrancamos con las oraciones. Number one. Judy Hobbs is a bunny. Judy Hobbs is a bunny. And this is Judy. Is she a bunny? Yes, very good. Sentence number two. Judy isn't fast. Judy isn't fast. Yes or no? No, she is fast. Very good. Sentence number three. She is tall. She is tall. What do you think? ¿Qué creen ustedes? ¿Es alta o no es alta? I think she is not tall. I think she has long ears. Para mí no es alta ella. Lo que tiene es que tiene las orejas largas. Entonces yo voy a escribir no. Very good. Sentence number four. Nick Wilde is a sloth. Nick Wilde is a sloth. This is Nick Wilde. And he is not a sloth. This is a sloth. Okay, Nick Wilde is a... What animal is he? Very good. He is a fox. So, no. Very good. Sentence number five. Judy is Nick's friend. Yes or no? Very good. Yes. Sentence number six. Nick has got a long tail. And look at the picture. He has a long tail. A long and fluffy tail. So, Nick. Very good. Yes. Sentence number seven. Flash isn't slow. Flash isn't slow. What do you think? ¿Creen que Flash es o no es lento? Bueno, si comparamos a Flash con Judy y Nick, sí es lento. Quizás si comparamos a Flash con otros sloths, quizás no es tan lento. Pero vamos a poner que sí. Sorry. No, Flash isn't slow. No, he is slow comparing to Judy and Nick. Si comparamos a Flash con Judy and Nick, es muy lento. Ok. Sentence number eight. He has got a long nose. He has got a long nose. And we are talking about Flash here. Porque estamos usando he, entonces nos estamos refiriendo a Flash otra vez. And what do you think? No. He hasn't got a long nose. He has got a big black nose maybe, but not a long nose. Very good. Sentence number nine. Chief Pogo, sorry, is strong. And this is Chief Pogo. What do you think? Is he strong? Look at the picture. What animal is he? ¿Qué animal es? Very good. He's a bull. And he is strong. Very good. And the last sentence. He is tall. Yes or no? Yes. He is tall. Very good. Okay, let's do exercise B. It says... Answer the following questions. 
The first question. What animal is Chief Buggo? Y esto recién lo dijimos. Entonces, arrancamos. He is a bull. Entonces, en lugar de decir Chief Buggo is a bull, miren, usé un pronombre. He. Very good. What about sentence number two? Can Judy run fast? Can Judy run fast? Very good. Yes, she can. Very good. Yes, she can. Sentence number three. Has Nick got brown eyes? Has Nick got brown eyes? Yes or no? No, very good. He hasn't. Y podemos hacer la respuesta aún más completa y decir He has got green eyes. Very good. Send question number four. Where are they from? Where are they from? They are from... And what is the name of the movie? Look. Zootopia. Very good. So they are from Zootopia. Zootopia is the name of the city. Very good. And the last question. What are Priscilla's favorite colors? Priscilla era... ¿Vieron el videito? Que estaba Flash y también había otra sloth más. ¿Se acuerdan el color de la remera y el color del pelo? ¿Cuál creen que era Priscilla's favorite color? Very good. So, Priscilla's favorite colors are. ¿Y se acuerdan? La remera era rosa, el pelo era como un violeta también. Entonces vamos a poner Priscilla's favorite colors are pink and purple. Ok, very good. Now, let's do exercise C. It says, choose the right option to answer the questions or to complete the sentences. Ok, so, question number one. What does Judy do? Esta pregunta significa, ¿qué hace ella? ¿De qué trabaja? She is a spy, she is a police officer, or she is a private investigator. A spy, police officer, or a private investigator. What do you think? Very good, she is a police officer. Okay. Question number two. What is she like? What is she like? She is... Y tenemos dos opciones. Impatient or fast. Because she always interrupts Flash. What is the meaning of impatient? ¿Algunos saben el significado de impatient? Si lo saben, escríbanlo en el chat. Very good. Impatient means impaciente. ¿Y ustedes qué creen? ¿Es impaciente o no es impaciente ella? Very good. Yes, she is impatient. So, we choose this option. 
She is impatient because she always interrupts Flash. Okay, question number three. We have how many sloths are there in the office? How many sloths are there in the office? ¿Se acuerdan cuántos sloths habían en la oficina? Bueno, había muchos, pero había cinco que se podían distinguir muy clarito. So we say, I can see five sloths. Very good. Number four. One of the sloths is called Flash because he is, and then we have fast, slow, and hardworking. Do you know the meaning of hardworking? ¿Saben el significado de esta palabrita? Very good. Hardworking means trabajador. So, ¿cuál sería la opción correcta acá? Ustedes solamente conocen a un superhéroe que se llama Flash. And what is he like? ¿Cómo es él? Very good. He's very fast. Entonces, podemos decir también que Flash, el personaje de esta peli, también se llama así porque es muy rápido. Muy rápido comparando a los otros osos perezosos que estaban en la oficina. No comparando con Nick o Judy. Pero dentro de los osos perezosos que había en la oficina, él era el más rápido. Number five. Nick is very... And we have clever or witty. Because he makes smart jokes. Witty means like funny. So, very good. Nick is witty because he makes smart jokes. Chistes inteligentes. Okay, let's do exercise D. It says, this is a part of a dialogue from the scene. Write the missing words. So, we have to read the dialogue and complete the gaps. Entonces, tenemos un diálogo acá donde tenemos que completar los espacios. Y para hacer esto, vamos a volver a ver el video. Pero no lo vamos a ver todo. Vamos a ver desde el segundo 35 hasta el minuto 07. Entonces, volvemos al aula virtual. Volvemos al video Zootopia. Hacemos clic. Y en vez de poner el video desde su inicio, lo adelantamos hasta el segundo 35. Y lo vemos hasta el minuto con 7 segundos. Y lo voy a dejar que lo vean dos veces, así pueden completarlo mejor. Entonces, miren esto ahora y nos reencontramos después para chequear las respuestas.
Ok, espero que hayan podido completar el diálogo. So, let's check. Flash, flash. How did that dash? Buddy, it's... Buddy es como decir... Amigo, it's nice to... Very good, it's nice to see you. And then Flash says, nice to see you. Too. Es lindo verte de nuevo. It's nice to see you too. Officer Judy Hobbs, ZPD. And the answer here? Very good. How are you? And then Flash says, I am doing very good. I am doing. And then what does Judy say? She says, fine. And then, Flash says, well, I am doing well. Very good. What? Hang in there. And the answer here, can, what can I do? Well, I was hoping you could run a plate for you. Well, I was hoping you could... And the answer here... Today. ¿Qué puedo hacer por vos hoy? What can I do for you today? And Judy says, Well, I was hoping you could run a play for us. We are... Very good. We are in a really big hurry. Estaban apurados. Estaban buscando algo. A plate. And what is the meaning of a plate? Ahora vamos a ver eso. So, exercise E. Como recién mencioné. Dice, what do you think is a plate? What is a plate in the movie? Take the right option. And then we have three pictures. We have this, this, and this. So, picture number one. Is this a plate? What do you think? Yes or no? Very good. This is a plate. This is a plate that we use to eat. Es un plato, como los platos que usamos para comer. Very good. Picture number two. Is this a plate? En español nosotros decimos un plato volador, pero en inglés no decimos a flying plate. Decimos a flying saucer. No usamos la palabrita plate. So, this is not a plate. And what about the last picture? What is this? What is the meaning of this? Ok, esto es una patente. And how do you say patente in English? What's the English for patente? Very good. We use the word plate as well. So, picture number one is a plate and picture number three is a plate as well. También usamos la palabra plate para la palabra patente. Now, in la peli, ¿Qué tipo de plate están hablando? What kind of plate are they talking about? This kind of plate? The one you use to eat? Or this 
kind of blades. Very good. They are talking about this kind of blade. So the correct answer is this one. Okay? Very good. And then you have two questions. The first one says, have you got a car? And you have to answer this with your personal information. Entonces, ustedes quizás no van a tener un auto, pero sus papás, algún tío o alguien conocido quizás sí. Entonces, pueden responder acá. Y después dice, do you know its plates? Si conocen la patente de ese auto. Entonces, estas dos preguntitas las responden con su información personal. Very good. Now, we have this question. It says, what's the plate number they mention in the movie? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Van a ir otra vez a la ola virtual, van a buscar otra vez el video y van a ver desde el minuto 08, un minuto 08 hasta el minuto 37 y de vuelta van a verlo dos veces y van a tratar de anotar la patente, el número de patente que se menciona en esa partecita del video entonces los dejo un ratito para que hagan eso y después lo chequeamos Ok, espero que hayan podido completarlo. So, what's the plate number they mention in the movie? You tell me in the chat. So, what is the first letter or number they mention? Two, very good. And then, nine, very good. T, What else? Age. Very good. Please write in the chat. D. Well done. Zero. And three. Very good. So, two, nine, T, H, D, zero, three. That's the plate number. Okay, very good. Now let's do exercise F. It says, let's talk about Judy, Nick and Flash. Match the adjectives with the body parts to describe them. So we have to match these three sentences with the adjectives here. Okay, so the first one. Judy has got long wings, tail, teeth, ears or claws. Very good. Judy has got 
long ears. Okay. Very good. Sentence number two. Flash has got sharp. What is the meaning of sharp? Como afilados. Sharp. Very good. Sharp teeth. Okay, and the last sentence. Nick has got a fluffy. What was the meaning of fluffy? ¿Qué significa fluffy? Ok, como suave. A fluffy. Very good. A fluffy tail. So, Judy has got long ears. Flash has got sharp teeth. And Nick has got fluffy tail. A fluffy tail, sorry. Ok, let's do now exercise G. It says, what do sloths look like? Complete this paragraph about them using the words in the box. Be careful, there are some extra words. And we have sharp, climb, jump, from, big, small, animals, hair, fur, plants, fast, slow, jungle, desert, and but and all. Very good. So let's start. Sloths are. And pay attention. You have a continent. The name of the continent here. ¿Qué usamos? Si nombramos el país o si nombramos la ciudad o en este caso el continente. ¿Qué posición usamos ahí? Very good. Sloths are from Central and South America. They live in the... And where do they live? Very good. They live in the jungle. They live in the jungle. They eat. What do they eat? Well done. They eat plants and small very good and small animals. Okay, very good. There, and pay attention, this is an um, possessive adjective. There is grey or brown? What is grey or brown? Very good. The fair. Fair es como el pelo. Is grey or brown? They have got, they have got claws. What is the meaning of claws? Very good. Claws, these are claws, las garras. Entonces, podemos decir, they have got sharp claws, garras afiladas. And... A very good and a big black nose. They can swim and tall trees. And very good and climb tall trees. Mm, they can't run. Ah, ¿Qué palabrita iría acá? ¿Qué usamos acá? ¿Qué conector usamos cuando hablamos 
de una habilidad que podemos hacer, pero después hablamos de una habilidad que no podemos hacer. Very good, but they can't run. They are very... What? What are they like? Very good, they are very slow. Well done, okay? So remember that if you have any questions, please ask your teacher in the chat. Recuerden que si tienen alguna consulta de este ejercicio o de cualquiera de estos ejercicios que estuvimos haciendo, consultarlo por el chat. So, let's do exercise H. It says, look at Nick. What is he wearing? Okay, I'll give you a few seconds. Pay attention to the picture. What is he wearing? Okay, so what is he wearing? He is wearing... And what is this? A shirt. Very good. And what is the color? of the shirt. Very good. A green shirt. He is wearing a green shirt. What else? What is this? La corbata. And how do you say that in English? Tie. A tie. And quizá no se ve muy bien acá, pero si se acuerdan el video, era azul esa corbata. So, a blue tie. And, what are these? Trousers. Very good. And, grey trousers. So, he's wearing a green shirt, a blue tie, and... Grey trousers. Very good. Okay, so now let's do the last exercise of the handout. It says, do you like the joke Nick makes? Color the right option for you. ¿Se acuerdan en el videito que cuando entraban a las oficinas, Nick le hacía un chiste a Flash? El chiste era, what do you call a three-humped camel? Camel, what is the meaning? Camello. And hump, what is the meaning of hump? ¿Qué tienen los camellos? Very good. Los camellos tienen jorobas. Y usualmente tienen dos jorobas. Entonces le pregunta, ¿cómo llamarías a un camello que tiene tres jorobas. Y él le dice pregnant. Pregnant means embarazada. Entonces, miren, para que se comprenda mejor el chiste, les voy a mostrar una imagen. Again, what do you call a three-humped camel? And the answer is pregnant. Como dijimos antes, los camellos tienen dos jorobas. Entonces, si hay una camella que está embarazada, es como si tuviese tres jorobas. ¿Ok? So, that's the joke. Si les gusta el chiste, pinten esta manito. Y si no les gustó, pinten esta otra manito. ¿Ok? So... Para terminar, vamos a ir con la tarea, que no va a haber tarea en este caso. ¿Por qué? Porque ya vamos a tener el examen bimestral. Entonces, la tarea va a ser estudiar para el examen bimestral. Entonces, recuerden de ir repasando todos los temas, de estudiar todos los temas que estuvimos viendo durante el bimestre, de rever los videos, rever los handouts, las páginas del libro. Y recuerden que si tienen consultas para hacer, pueden mandarnos mensajes eh, por medio del aula virtual. 
y les estaremos eh, aclarando sus inquietudes. Ok, so, study hard for the exam and good luck. Y recuerden que nos quedamos ahora unos minutos en vivo para que también si tienen dudas pueden consultarlas ahora.